George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin. We know America's founding fathers. But there is one man often forgotten by history. Alexander Hamilton. As an orphan immigrant from the British West Indies, Hamilton entered King's College in New York City in 1773. With the Revolutionary War heating up, Hamilton joined a volunteer militia company and soon after was recommended for promotion due to his meticulous study of military history and tactics. Hamilton believed that to better his situation, he should find glory in war, declining any invitations to aid generals. He finally received an invitation that he could not decline, to serve as George Washington's aide. During his station at Morristown, New Jersey, Hamilton met Elizabeth Schuyler, the daughter of General Philip Schuyler. The two married on December 14, 1780, and she became an essential motivator to his political writings. Hamilton led the victorious charge against the British in the Battle of Yorktown. The surrender of Lord Cornwallis at Yorktown in 1781 marked the end of the Revolutionary War and the start of Hamilton's climb through the political ranks. Between 1782 and 1795, Hamilton was highly active in politics and law. He was appointed to Congress, named a delegate to the Constitutional Convention, appointed first Treasury Secretary, and co-wrote the Federalist Papers. Then, in 1795, he resigned as Treasury Secretary, but this did not remove him from public or political life. After a sex scandal, Hamilton wrote the Observations on Certain Documents, which described, in exquisite detail, his affair and how he was blackmailed, dispelling any rumors of speculation at the time. During his political career, he encountered many conflicts. During the election of 1800, Hamilton worked to secure Jefferson, a Democratic Republican, as president, to the downfall of Aaron Burr, who became vice president. In 1804, when running for re-election, Jefferson removed Burr from his ticket. After this, Burr ran independently for the New York governorship and lost. He hit the tipping point when he read that Hamilton had called Burr the most unfit and dangerous man of the community. Convinced Hamilton ruined another election for him, Burr demanded explanation. Hamilton refused to comply, enraging Burr further. He challenged Hamilton to a duel, which he accepted. The duel began on July 11, 1804, in Weehawken, New Jersey. That morning, both men drew their guns and shot. Hamilton missed, Burr hit, and Hamilton was fatally wounded. The next day, he died from his injuries.